Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna show you how I made my Aloy cosplay from scratch. So I first started with the pink leg armor plates. I first started with craft foam. I cut out the armor leg plates shape by shape for each leg and then I plastic dipped them and I spray painted them a magenta pink. So for the next step, I added gold lining to the armor plates. So I use EVA foam to create the gold lining. And as you can see here, this is what it's starting to look like. And once all the pieces were finished, I took an elastic band to glue all the armor leg plates together. And this is what it looks like on my leg. So for this portion of the cosplay, I decided to make this portion out of EVA foam. And then I painted the EVA foam a plum color and the other EVA foam gold. And this is how it turned out. And as you can see here, the progression of my cosplay is starting to come together. And for the fabric shirt, I took a sky blue shirt and a plum shirt and I cut them into crop tops. And then I also added fabric trim to be added to the crop tops, as you can see here. And then I also added gold lining made out of EVA foam. So Aloy has like this leather strap that goes across her chest. Um, so this was made out of EVA foam. I used brown acrylic paint and gold spray paint to create this. So the costume is finally coming together. I am enjoying how this is looking. I'm super excited. Okay, so for the shoulder pad armor, this is how I started. I cut out the shapes of the shoulder pad armor out of EVA foam, then I plastic dipped them, and then I spray painted them white and I added some detail onto them and I then glued them onto the shoulder part of the fabric that you see right here on the shirt. So for the knee armor, I simply just cut those shapes out of EVA foam and then I painted them white using white acrylic paint. And then for the forearm armor pieces, so I decided to sketch out the shape of what the forearm armor pieces look like. I cut them out of EVA foam. And as you can see here, and as you can see here, the forearm armor is complete. I use beads, craft foam, fabric, and I'm loving how the forearm armor has turned out. So here is an updated progress photo. So I hand made the pouches and the quiver out of EVA foam. So the quiver and pouches are made out of EVA foam. And then I started to plastic dip them and painted them. And I started putting all the pieces together Together, and this is what the quiver and the pouches ended up looking like. So here I have to try this on and make sure that everything fitted appropriately on my waist. So for the shoes, it was quite interesting. I had to create them out of using sandals and socks. I used plum fabric and then I used the gold trim to add on to the fabric. And here I started gluing everything together to make it look more accurate to the video game shoes that she wears with this particular outfit. As you can see here, this is what the costume is starting to look like. I'm finally almost done. For the crown, I decided to sketch it out of paper and then I cut the paper pieces out and traced them on EVA foam and I cut all those pieces out. So here are progress photos of the crown, plastic dip, painted, and I glued everything together. I freaking love how the crown turned out. And for the weapon, the weapon was actually pretty cool. The weapon was 3D printed. I primed all the pieces using plastic dip and then I gone to paint them individual colors for each piece. And I decided to add like detail to make the weapon look a little weather by using black paint and using a paper towel to damp off the, the paint that I just applied to make it look like a weathered look. And then the weapon was ready to be put together. And this is what it started to look like. And the last step was to add the string to the bow. This was an interesting interesting process that I have to do. And this is what it looks like. The bow's finished. Last but not least, the hair. So this was an interesting twist to the cosplay. So Aloy has straight red hair. So what I decided to do different, being a male version, and specifically a black male version of Aloy, I decided to do copper red dreadlocks to complement my natural hair type, which is Afro 4B. So I thought it was a cool twist to the cosplay. Here I'm putting the braids together and adding jewelry pieces such as beads and rubber bands I really enjoyed making this cosplay. It was super awesome. And this is how the final cosplay turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed me becoming a gender bin version of Aloy from Horizon Forbidden West.